Okay. Time for a little play on the nobblers. You can see getting them over. About six mil from the edge now. And they're gripping just fine. So let's go for a little play on the way to work. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, I thought I'd just load this up. A little bit of experimentation on two fronts. First of all, uh, let's see how the normalies are doing. Uh, Speedo's gone over 600. I got them fitted at 43, 500. So I've now got 100 miles on these tyres. And at the right hand side over, almost to the edge and the left. It's got to find a place to do it. A couple of left hand bends, maybe get over the cliff top again, over the bendy bits. But they're doing great, they really are. There's none of the running wide you warned about. There's no odd wear happening. They seem to be wearing like regular tires. They are amazing. The only thing that tells you you're on such aggressive knobblies, come on. Is under 10 mile an hour. They tend to vibrate a little bit. You get kind of digga, 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 digga. you can feel it at walking pace. So I guess the secret is don't go under 10 mile an hour. <laughs> well, there's a couple of things really. I wanted to show you how it working. I got a new route to work just for this week. Uh, so it means a little bit of a different view for you and obviously the footage now The big bad ball brand is here. We now have The 48 meg infinity broadband that are working as you might be able to tell from the quality of this The engineer did eventually turn up and uh, It was all right good bloke took him four minutes and I kid you not I timed him four minutes flat he put in two plugs and made a test call job done so there you go for all their fuss and it is a truly amazing I shocked and stunned myself found that with uh, I intended to time an upload because uh, in the past a 10 minute video would take back on our old 0.3 to 0.9 meg upload uh, 360 video oops, would take maybe thick end of 200 minutes two hours to upload come on look at me look at me look at me that's it power of the force um, so 200 minutes to upload a 10 minute video. Now, I thought I'll time it, see if we can get it down to 20 or something. And do you know what, I didn't even have time to write the comments. It took three and a half minutes to upload a 10 minute video. Absolutely stunning, shockingly quick. I thought it was a fault with it. I started the upload and it said four minutes to go. And then it clicked to 3.5 minutes. And by the time I'd put the little comments on and the uh, monetized it and all the other bits and bobs you do, it was up online, bang. Incredible. I used to leave them to go overnight because you know, I couldn't use the internet while they were loading. And while things are loading, I can now watch videos on the, the download while I'm uploading. The actual... Uh, time or the actual speed we're getting on a test is a speed tester thing you can download I did a check uh, we're getting 46 mil download which is brilliant and something like 9.65 upload which is 10 times faster literally because we were getting 0.9 peak and 0.3 uh, average which is a bit crap really but now we are online so recording this in 1080 I've switched the settings on the GoPro 
up to 1080 and I'm going to upload it in 1080 and we're going to see how long it takes. I shall make a, a comment below in the comments or in the, the message section just to tell you what it was because I won't low at this point. Coppers there. Let's watch it. Uh, this little ride to work is great fun. Absolutely great, but it is busy, as you can see. I thought I'd bring you all along with me. And about the tyres again, I know that on the last video I didn't really mention them, but I was doing the thanks and stuff because that's really important to us. And again, <laughs> the love we had in return, even more so. Uh, somebody made a comment about scooters that we don't denigrate scooters um, or put them down or anything. Well, not in a million years, folks. Not in a million years. Scooter riders are equally as much of the s part of the bike scene as the rest of us. And uh, they take the same risks as us and everything else. So whatever you ride, honestly, I know that we have a bit of a laugh and we do kind of make fun of other bikes and we make fun of this and that but it's never serious. We ride we ride all different bikes between us lot in the collective and uh, no one motorbike is any worse or better than the next except maybe a Chinese one. Uh, this bit's great fun. It's really good fun. <laughs> uh, see, we can use the powers of the force to bully our way through. Come on, mate, just look at me. Does he see you in the mirror? Come on, come on, no. I do love this kind of riding, I truly do. It's reasonably safe. Just go have your wits about you and plan. The old advanced Johnnies will talk about planning, watching things like her don't pull out and that gap's going to close, isn't it? Look, there we go. Watching the gravel and stuff. But hey, with the nubblers, who cares about the gravel? Which, talking to the nubblers, just reminds me. Look at the size of this thing, big fat pig. Get out of the way. That's better. Talking to the nobblers, I want to say thanks to Thomas, Navy Thomas 8, my main man, non other than NT8, the great NT8, he was the inspiration. I wanted something aggressive and nobbly for the bike. I've known about the TKC80s for a long time, never really had the neck to give them a go. Oh, lollipop lady's got some ivies. Uh, and Tom's constant um, encouragement to get onto them and trust them because they're brill was what made me make, take the plunge. I mean, if I'd made a mistake and they were rubbish, uh, then that's a lot of money to go throwing away, 240 odd pounds. You can only afford to buy tires one time, but they are rather amazing. So thanks, Tom down to you mate I wouldn't probably have made the decision without your say so the endorsement is everything and if you aren't subscribed to NT8 then I believe you can get fined for that now so you better make sure you are Navy Thomas 8 get her done and tell him I said yo sorry if there's Silent bits, but I'm kind of focusing. Ah. Thanks, Ethan. I love this road. So, if you're thinking of buying some uh, nobblers for your bike, whatever it might be, 
I can tell you, these are incredible. Blub. They truly are. They may look aggressive and that they're going to go sideways and not grip and all that, but don't y'all believe it? They are incredible. Last night I had a little play on my favourite roundabout and I got the right hand foot peg to touch down, which is pretty cool for Nobblies. They just grip, they really do, they just grip. I've had a couple of wet rides to work in the last 100 miles and they've been fine. Just take it easy as you would in any newish tyre in the wet. And obviously being Nobbly, being aggressive like they are, they're, uh, they're gonna grip in the wet, certainly on decent quality tarmac. Obviously if something's too slick they might not because there's less rubber contact, but that's all about the dry. Don't know. Don't know what they're going to be like in the winter. We shall find out if there's any tread left on them by the winter time. <laughs> they're wearing, they're there. There's the thing. Are they wearing? Well, I don't know yet. The little hairs on the middle bit in the in the centre nobbles have only just started to wear off. They've worn off one side and not the other. As in, they've worn off the back of the nobbles, not the front, which is the the way the nobbles work. They kind of chamfer. Nobbly tyres wear in like a cup and as you can see they grip on the dry and they've really just only only just been scrubbed in I have uh, literally a hundred miles on them and at this even at this sort of lean angle a normal sort of riding tires angle they're fine so trust them they're brilliant stop worrying I have and now I've got a nine hour shift to do. So I'm gonna leave you there. Take it easy, ride safe. I'll see you next time.